Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video, I'll be painting a couple of cultists for my Death Guard army. These are some older models, but I think they are superior to the newer cultists. They might look a little stocky, but I do like the Mad Max vibe they've got going on. Let's begin, shall we? After giving the models a zenithal of white over black, I start with base coating the robes with Death Guard Green. I keep the paint a little bit watered down and add two coats. I then wash the robes with Agrax Earthshade. This is the first step in creating dirty looking robes. I highlight the raised areas with a mix of Elysian Green and Death Guard Green. Because it's cloth, I don't want very light highlights, as I would like on a more reflective surface. I highlight again with a mix of Elysian Green and Nurgling Green. To make the robes look even more gross, I wash them with Reikland Flesh Shade. Because it also darkens the color, I come back with the previous highlight of Elysian Green mixed with Nurgling Green and highlight again. For the hoods I wanted to go black. First I painted with Black Templar, but I wasn't really happy with the coverage. I then added Corvus Black on top of the previous layer to smooth down the streaky Black Templar. In retrospect, I think Black Templar works better with the darker surfaces. To darken the recesses, I washed the hoods with Nuln Oil. And highlight with two colors. First with Storm Vermin Fur. And second with Dawnstone. I think the dark hoods work really well with the dirty green stained robes. The highlights aren't too bright, which works well with cloth. Next, let's have a look at their weapons and any metal bits. I paint everything I want metal with Iron Warriors. Things I want brass, like the Chaos Sigils, are painted with Skull Crusher Brass. This paint covers pretty well, but covers even better over a metallic base coat. I shade all the metal and brass with Agrax Earth Shade. And darken the recesses with Nuln Oil. I then highlight all the metal and brass with Rune Fang Steel. Let's paint all the small details next. All the leather straps and boots I paint with Gore Grunta Fur. Highlight with Scrag Brown. And highlight again with Deathclaw Brown. All wrappings are painted with Skeleton Horde. And highlighted with Screaming Skull. Lenses are painted with Blood Angel Red Contrast Paint. And then I add a dot of Dorn Yellow for the light reflection. The weird tubes they have I paint with Tesseract Glow. Makes it look like toxic ooze is being injected in them. Just what the Death Guard would do. These little guys are nearly done. I try to keep a simple color scheme here because you'll want about 20 of these guys to hold down objectives. Last thing remaining is to paint some sickly skin. First, I base coat with Rekarth Flesh. And then shade with Druki Violet. 
You can also use a more reddish shade if you want the skin to look a little bit more alive. I layer on a mix of Recarth Flesh and Palace Wish Flesh on all the raised areas. And highlight with Palace Wish Flesh. The Dead Skin Mask I paint with Gulliman Flesh. First very light on certain areas and then a thicker layer to get a little variation on the mask. Finally I add blood for the blood gut on the mask and any bandages I can find. And here we have some death guard cultists ready to horribly die in battle. I only had about 3 of these to paint to finish a 20 man squad but I thought it would be fun to make a video out of it. What do you guys think of these old cultists? Personally I love them. And you can even pair them up with some renegade guardsmen from Blackstone Fortress and Kill Team to get even more variety in your army. Be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.